Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect. In the previous episode, it was even more eventful when it comes to prisoner misbehaviour. Specifically, there was a couple of prisoners who um, were trying to um, fight and did successfully um, attack uh, various staff and um, inmates. And um, yeah, to 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 a certain deadly ends sadly if we go over to the prison gradient we see that now we've had a total of 15 deaths in custody and the majority of those have happened within the last probably 15 days or something which is a problem i don't know what the solution is um other than just you know more guards we are handing out suppression but obviously a lot of the traits that these prisoners have are things like stalker and fearless which is causing them to not give a single generic unit of caring when it comes to uh, being attacked or, or attacking others or um, indeed seeing armed guards so we'll see what we can do. Uh, we also managed to get this uh, finished last episode which is good this is our uh, high risk area and then what we're going to do is add this building in which I will do now actually originally I said I was going to do uh, this one down here but we're going to probably leave that I think it's best if we get this cell done. Uh, and this is going to be for our supermax prisoners, which I will assign. Um, I will assign probably anything, anyone that's deadly or legendary or something like that. They'll go in there as well. Hiring some more um, guards is going to help. Um, but I've also got some snipers, which will hopefully be utilising the tower here. And also we've got um, various. Um, armed guards walking around as well so hopefully all of that will um, prevent them from kicking off what I also want to do is put windows in here and the reason for that is I should then get uh, view access to all of these which um, will help us out how much is a window a window apparently a hole in the wall is apparently 20 sorry 200 generic units of currency which is more than I have so I guess I'm not going to do that and what is this what are this big line showing where's that saying I don't know what that line is trying to tell me about. Hmm. Strange. Anyway, so, I will speed up to max speed. We are still going to get some more prisoners. Uh, five maximum, four normal. Uh, this um, cell block, what I want to do is... I, I want to probably turn off, for the moment, our intake on max sec. And the reason for that is I want to start waiting for people to leave because at the moment we're on 50 of maximum 48 so we've still got people in the holding cell but i want that to go down because this cell will become a normal risk cell block and then all of the high risk will be over on the left hand side that's my long-term goal on this one and then there's another fight who was it this time it is um christopher uh, christopher smith and yes they have attack prisoner oh no it wasn't those it wasn't it wasn't them that um of course that. Is it James? No. Killed for being a snitch, I'm guessing. Yeah. Probably those. Hmm. Can't see who it was. Just go for informants there. Very difficult to see with all of these. Just what traits they have. Because the colour of the traits doesn't mean anything. The, the colour of the, the traits that they have, it's simply whatever whatever they're assigned. So if we assign someone, there's Snitch and ex-law enforcement there. Look at that, just so quick. They're in protective custody. I'm going to have to improve that. But it's, I mean, it's 10 o'clock. Have they just turned up? I really don't know. Um, eventually, what I want to do is that's that's becoming a bit of a bit of bit of a problem because there's there was a yeah there is a patrol oh what's that armed guard pissed off needs rest okay um, how many armed guards do we have uh, five we'll hire an oh we don't need to hire another one we don't need to hire another one um, we do probably need to hire another uh, another sniper because we do need the tower. But um, for the time being, what we'll do, we'll pause that. We'll get another two snipers like so. And then we'll spend even more money on another guard tower. There we go. It's a guard tower, but you put snipers in them. Um, let's go for what I originally said about the the doors here. We probably... Uh, okay. Just spent loads of money, so we can't do that. But we'll get some more money as it progresses on. In terms of Grand Suite... <laughs> <laughs> oh, pretty much bang on timing there. In terms of grants, I was going to say we've almost got our um, last grandfather workshop, which has produced 10 superior beds. And on that 
on the uh, <laughs> the mention of that, it completed, so that's good. Can't get any more uh, grants. We've only got cell block D, E, and F to do, and that's all of the grants in the game. There are mods you can get which increase the number of grants, and that they'll, they'll, those have been around for quite some time. But uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mod this up. I know several people have asked for various mods and such, but uh, no, we're gonna we're sticking with the stock game for the time being. People have also asked about maybe getting. Uh, different having different mods in the future and doing different things and I know I've, I've read the I've, you know I've read the comments about that and you know we'll have to see once we get to the end of this series what we accomplish in this one and then the next one we'll do something else with obviously right so let's just get this cell block up and running obviously we want to go to our cloning here and we should have it already raring to go which it is and there we go that is now all cloned uh, obviously utilities will need to be ran so we'll run a utility down to there and to there we'll do the same with the electrical cable like so and that should be all of that connected and this is solely for supermax so that's only supermax prisoners which we obviously will assign some uh yeah see that look it just it changed to normal again that's becoming a problem Um, yeah, we've currently got nobody in Supermax, it just doesn't exist, but we will be assigning people to it, so any any legendary prisoner, any deadly, extremely deadly things like that will go in there. You can see, look, that's being changed to something else, apparently there's a tunnel near the canteen, nope, we'll get rid of that. So, cell block D, raise prisoner capacity to 200. Well on our way to doing that, with uh, 158. There we go. So that's now all designated, and that's fine. And the flooring's in there and everything else, so that's okay. Um, what I might do is have a window. Do I want it? Which way do I want to have it facing? Let's put those windows in. We're going to see if we get visibility because the door being open doesn't give you that, which is a strange one. I always assume, I always thought, but hey ho. So I'm going to prioritise the the working of that. I'll also remove the planning from that there for you. So it looks like the automatic doors are working all right. Yep, and then only the guards are going up and down here. There's some more tasering going on. Tough and extremely volatile. That that could have been that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what I want to do is go down to our programs, and we want to run some guard taser certification, because we've hired a lot more guards since that time. So it's important that we do that. Kitchen safety and hygiene. Nobody's on that one. Um, we've just got how much? Why have we just got that much money? Oh, exports. Look at all the exports. That's why we've just got 20, 20 odd grand. That's good. So once we put those those windows in, we might have better sight. No, we don't. What if they are the other way around? So if the windows were that and that, will that give us better line of sight? I don't think it will, but um, let's just see. I'll try it. I'll then remove them. And quite frankly, if they don't give me any line of sight, I'm just not going to bother. I'm just going to remove them. Uh, I could have this wall here, by the way. I could have this as a fence. Whoa! Okay. So that is... Is that Simon Patton with a gun? That is Simon Patton with a gun. How on earth did he manage to get a gun? That's going to run out eventually. There he goes. So... He's knocked out. That person there... He has to be a legendary prisoner. I reckon he's legendary just from what he can do. I reckon he's a legendary prisoner. Where did that shot you come from? Found owner. Smuggled into... Smuggled in by prisoner. I'm sorry. I was under the assumption that you couldn't smuggle a shotgun through multiple... Uh... Detections. That's a problem. That is a new one. D 
doesn't tell me. Oh, we also have, let me pause it here, ex-law enforcement. Protective custody. Lockdown permanent. It's good that we spotted that. Look at all this, look at all this, <laughs> look at all the confidential informants. You'd think it would be people here, like the lower risk that'd be willing to talk more, but it's not, it's all the high risk, they're all stitching each other up. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Anyway, so, looks like we are now, have we escorted them here? The, uh... Oh, damn it. I thought that was going to happen. Ah. I knew that this guy was going to get attacked. I just tried to... Uh, he's going to get killed, isn't he? God damn it. I assigned them to... I assigned him to protect custody, and he was on the way there, and as soon as it kicked off... Well, as soon as they spotted him, they attacked him straight away. Damn it. Spotted him sooner. Might have helped. In fact, if I stopped the search, it might have helped because they were searching before they moved him. But he was moving on his own there. So I don't know if there is anything I can do. There's no, like, maybe we'll attack him, maybe we won't. It's just if they see him. And you even... I don't I don't think it even needs real traits, but they just go straight on him. It's really becoming a problem. Um, I'm really tempted just to start... Well, you know, go a bit... Go sort of hard mode on them. But you know what? Want to do that? Let's see. Let's see that. Um, right. So these windows do nothing. So I'm going to dismantle those. They're not giving me a line of sight, which is a crying shame. Anyway, so we want to just double check here. Deployment is that, which is fine. That's fine. There. We want to have this as staff only. That as staff only, and that as staff only. The rest can be traversed apart from that bit there. That needs to be staff only. That's fine. Um, right, okay, so, we're okay there. What we need to do, though, is probably have some metal detection around here from going one side to the other. Do I want to do that? Yes, can I put that in? Not really because of the way these doors work. The only thing I could do is put them there and then change these doors, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I will do just that. So we're going to put them like that, and then I'm going to dismantle... Some of the things are the doors I've just placed. These doors will get recycled, so we don't need to worry about any potential waste. Um, what I also want to do is have a jail door above these as well. So if there's any problems, the guards can come down there. There we are. That's fine. So I'm just going to wait for our intake here, and then I'll double check to see what traits they have. So once all of these doors have been removed and have the rest put in, um, obviously this is going to increase the generator load, but we've got a decent load on there. That should be fine. And most of them should be powered up. There's our exports kicking in, which is good. We are now... Oh, what now? Christopher Young, snitch. Was that an unknown trait? Oh, it was Lee. I think that might have been Lee, you know. Murder, yes. I think that was his. I think that's his first one. We got some more people in here. Again, unknown traits. Don't know what they are. See, I always thought this should be. I mean, this is processing. I like the processing thing. It would be nice to have a room where we could sort of interview them when they come up, and then like. Could, we get given these prisoners, essentially. The, the game just says, right, this is what you're going to get, and then it'll sign traits based on their risk level. But we, sometimes we don't know what they are. It would be nice to bring them in, and then they could be assigned to, say, high risk. But maybe they're not high risk, maybe they're low risk. Maybe it's the other way around. Maybe it's low risk, and actually they're high risk. There's been a problem back there. Um, and that flings in a little bit of randomness, admittedly, but also... Um, when they come in, you then have to decide, are you going to um, put them through like a processing, which might take time and money, but then you might know the traits, uh, but does that detract too much from the the game when it comes to uh, finding it out? I don't know. I don't know. I can't decide. Um, right, so anyway, uh, we've got patrols there. What we need to do is just pause it and want to put some brick walls in like so, like so. 
And again, there we are. Large jail door. No, we're not going to use that one. We're going to use a standard jail door. Normal size. There we are. And that should be about reet. Um, we'll go for deployment. Guard patrols. You can see we've got a guard patrol all the way along the left there. What I'll do is I'll just cut that left one completely off. And then they'll only walk on the other side. Chief's calling. Just discovered that one of the teachers we bring in for the inmates has been smuggling huge amounts of contraband. They've been fired, but the damage has been done at this point. Oh, darn it. And there's another snitch. Tom Austin. I did check earlier, so I either missed him or he was one of the traits that I didn't know about. Right, so we've got a huge amount of contraband. I have a plan. I'm going to say, right, bang up. Actually, no, lockdown. No, it is bang up, yeah. Everybody get to their cells. And shake down. And we're going to do it in the day. Very rarely do I do this, but I think it is worth the risk. I want to get rid of this contraband because there's going to be a lot of it. And maybe that's where the guy got the shotgun. It is possible. So as you can see, a lot of things stolen. They try to nick shears from there, but it doesn't happen. They just get found straight away as soon as they go through the metal detector. So that there just says, smuggled in by prisoner, 0, 0.0 hours. I don't know where he smuggled the shotgun. Man. I know he's a big guy, but I mean, hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so lots of tools being found here. Lots of lots of digging implements, actually. There's a shank being found in just a corner. That was smuggled in. Some booze. Yeah. You can see the demand going down. Huge demand here. But that's now... Supplies now going down. What? We found a hammer in the workshop? <gasps> Never. Oh, to be fair, it was smuggled in, so, you know, at least... <laughs> at least they're bringing their own equipment to work, so that's good. Saves on our bills, doesn't it? Right, so almost finished this search. Obviously, it's been locked down for so long. There we go, we're finished. Change that to normal, and then prisoners can go to eat. There we are. Uh, and once they're in the canteen, what I'm going to do... Um, I do have a duck patrol around there. I thought I did. I'm going to assign a guard there as well. Uh, once they're in here, and the majority are there, it does take some time for these to move. That's a problem. They didn't get fed. Mm, that is going to cause a problem tomorrow, which is why we do need to get this cell block running. Um, sorry, this um, this kitchen and canteen up and running. I'm going to go over to our intelligence and then informants. I want to go around. I want to check some people's traits. So, um, the instigator, maybe not. However, there are some traits around here. So, this guy, you are now a supermax prisoner. Obviously, we've got Adam Lee, who is also going to be a supermax prisoner. We've got a guy here, which is strong, tough, stalker, and fearless. You are now classed as supermax. Uh, you are now classed as supermax. This is hammer and sickle. Um, some unknown traits here. Not too bad there. Um, I really think the instigator should go with them as well, because uh, that's um, something we should probably do. You know what, though? You know what? Th there's another school of thought. Um, the instig instigator, you can see if we go from the character. I always got the wrong tabs. Uh, prisoners sow seeds of discontent to all those nearby. When you cause trouble, nearby prisoners will feel compelled to do the same. So he instigates other people, but he doesn't have any other traits, like volatile, so when he kicks off, the others do as well. So we could, if we wanted to, put him in a as a protective custody and then uh, permanent punishment. However, that will then make these other guys kick off, which is going to be an interesting one. If I put him, like I'm doing currently, uh, which is put him into the Supermax, he's going to be around all of these prisoners that are really likely to kick off. So actually, you know what? I've answered my own question. I'm going to try and do a protective custody lockdown permanent. Shouldn't be kicking off. Doesn't have many traits. But he only has the one trait, the instigator reputation. So... Yes, we'll see. Anyway, I think we're going to leave it there. It's been up and down for quite a bit, and that's... I just I really haven't been used to the amount of... Uh, I wasn't expecting the amount of violence that we've got here. And it really... St I mean, we had uh, these high-risk prisoners, but it really is started as soon as we got that event where 
I think it was 20-odd prisoners turned up. That was the main problem. And then we just had another event, which is, you know, <laughs> loads and loads of contraband around the place, which is an issue. And we also had a random spawning shotgun as well. But either way, uh, we're still doing all right. We're getting a decent amount of money, although not as much as we had before, because we've really upped our guards, and obviously things like the snipers cost money. Um, we've got armed guards going around. We've got lots of patrols. Uh, this... The movement around here is a lot better because we've got automatic door openers, so we're in a lot better state than we were previously. Next episode, we're going to hopefully complete, in one sitting, the kitchen and canteen. But we'll have to see how that one goes. We'll probably also put some storage here, make this staff only. In fact, to be fair, that should have been staff only from the get-go. I will put a staff door on there. I will prioritise that, and um, I will just you know, keep it running until that's sorted, because I really do want that. That is actually still set as staff only, so strange that there's no door on it. I don't know what happened to the door. Anyway, we will crack on and we'll see how far we get on next episode. As always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.